Hello and welcome back. Oh, what's... So in this video, we are going to see the dock and menu bar option within the system preferences. Basically, that deals with uh, this toolbar area in the control center. This is your control center right here. So to just uh, first take a look at it. So all these diffs different uh, uh, options we can actually uh, I think we add some more we cannot get rid of these like they are there by default but uh, you, you can either add additional over here or you can add more on the toolbar it's simply uh, exactly like uh, the windows uh, I'm forgetting the name it's I think uh, like something menu it pops up from the bottom right corner so system preferences and dock and menu bar so basically this area down here calls the dock <coughs> and then this is the uh, menu bar or toolbar so let's click on this <coughs> and you can see we have all the different options here Excuse me for a second. <clears throat> so, as you can see that this is the dock size. You can make it go bigger. And I believe this, these uh, options, they go big, like the size of them and the magnif magnification like how big and small each one individually is you can put different effects through here position it on screen just like you can uh, uh, make the may the start uh, what's it that uh, in the windows in the start uh, menu and all everything the taskbar you can make it go over here just exactly like this left bottom right so you get the idea and these are different options menu bar is uh, automatically hide and show the menu bar so basically this bar above here it will go boom and for you will have to actually hover your mouse over here and then it will pop back up I'm, I, I like it uh, over there so I'm not gonna make it uh, automatically hide these are the options so notice this these two picture if you comparison it's actually telling you where exactly the wi-fi button on the uh, this uh, control center is so if i click in bluetooth notice what happens this thing goes down to the second and that's right here so these are different options now notice this one as well showing the menu bar if i click over here this popped up right here I don't want it over there so I'm getting rid of it so these are some of the uh, options they unfortunately they are sticking in the control center you have an optional choice to show them in the menu bar if you don't want to go through clicking here and then going to your setting screen mirroring is basically I'm very um, uh, excited about it I think if we can I saw an option when I was uh, playing around that uh, I can actually mirror these my um, MacBook screen into my TV so um, I'm gonna try to make a video but then I will require another camera other than the screen recorder and I think it uh, uh, Samsung TVs they natively support uh, screen mirroring so you don't need a uh, uh, Google Chromecast or any other device like Miracast from uh, Microsoft display options again this you can control the uh, your brightness from here sound so there are other modules so this is that you can show in menu bar or in control center so if you added control center it's gonna be here and if I go here now you can see right there but if I remove it it's gone so these are the other things that you can add to your control center now if you can if you notice my uh, battery since it's a macbook it's already showing up right here 
fast user switching just like uh, control L uh, in Windows you can lock your computer and you switch to another user so you can different items you can display over here my clock I believe already is up there spotlight search function and the Siri time machine we'll come back to time machine in a later video so this is it for the uh, dock and menu bar and the different customization available to you if you like uh, to customize uh, your experience uh, of your machine uh, to your preferences this is the way to go if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one